That's easy, isn't it? Is it easy? See, I have no what you are called shame. I don't know what that is. I'm not serious. I'm not shame. I'm not a man. I'm a male. Beyond. See, I have no what you are called shame. I don't know what that is. I'm not serious. I'm not shame. I'm not a man. I'm a male. Beyond that, I don't know. You guys are men. I'm, I'm a male. I stay there. It's easy. So, brothers and sisters, look. The deal is this. We have the cure for AIDS. Now you're going to get a chance to ask questions. So, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to ask whatever question comes to your brain. Feel free to ask. I mean, please, don't you hesitate. Don't you feel that you have to restrict yourself. I know Brother Adis is here. You may ask a few. I'm glad to see the brother, you know. Brother this is the brother I've been knowing for years. Stand up, brother. Now, when I saw the brother the other day, I was very encouraged. Because the brother looks good, yes sir. I appreciate the brother. The brother looks good. The brother, I remember him and Sultan and Quick uh, Kwasi in New York. I would hope that Kwasi would come. And a bunch of other brothers. It was a bunch of us brothers. We were in love. New, New York, New York was look. We were in love. Of, there was a love that we used to share that was so nice, so. Warm. But none of us, or all of us, understood that we couldn't follow anybody. Because if you start following one, you have to dislike the other group. But I'm a black man, I have to love everybody. I have to love Muslims, I have to love Buddhists, I have to love Christians. So if I have to love everybody, then I'm going to make it easy. I enjoy nobody. Because I have to love everybody anyway. So it makes it easy. So now we go to the question. The sister and then you, another, yes. Good afternoon. Again, sit down. The sister asked, is it necessary to circumcise the boy, the male child? Well, who started that? European. Who? My last little girl was born. I said, you're not... I told the mother, if this child is born and I'm not here, you will not cut the navel string, okay? You understand? Listen to me now, Fanny. You will not cut this baby navel string. Okay. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. When the baby's born, you put the baby on your chest and let the baby suck your breast, the placenta is going to come right out. You put the placenta in a bowl, and put some flowers on it, keep the navel string attached to the baby until the placenta. Four days later, it falls off the baby, you throw away everything. No cutting, no stress. No, it is necessary to circumcise. Because I was never circumcised. Circumcised. It was you. Next. Uh, she said that she, I treated her before and that she was killed, but something happened, I don't know, she, she wanted to get back on track. And, what, and the next question about how do I cure AIDS? Well, many, many, my, I have a daughter now that's 21, and she's the key to beautiful things. She's the daughter of this woman. Her mother hated me. And with all rights, the woman was right, oh God, she was right. I had two wives in the same house and this woman is in love with me, oh God, this nigga's crazy, he's a Solomon. Nigga, look, you are a jive MF. Her mother cursed me out, she cursed me out and I'm standing looking at Miss Margaret and I could see the hurt in her eyes because this woman is in love with this man that already have two wives in the same house. <laughs> Boy, what do I do? And I find myself in this triangle here and don't know how I got in it. But years went by. You know, she got a baby, she got pregnant. They kicked her out of the house. But that's okay. She had the baby, little girl, Zave. Zave grew up. Zave was 19. 
she cured her mother, her grandmother of diabetes. The little girl that this woman didn't want to come into the world grew up to cure her diabetes. Last month I got a notice from the mother that Zavé just killed a woman in New York of AIDS. How do we cure AIDS? It's simple. We put the compounds together to address the mucous membrane, to cleanse the mucous membrane, to cleanse the bowels. Simultaneously, we went to the forest and found the herbs such as the over here on the alkali side, Sarsasparia is an herb that has the highest concentrate of iron, fluorine, iron. Guaco, that is a plant that has, I thought I had a stick with me because I'm always chewing on it. This is guaco. Guaco is a plant that would definitely strengthen the immune system because it is iron again but it has potassium iodide no potassium phosphate not iodide iodide come from the ocean kankansa that's an african plant kankansa is an african plant this plant has one of the highest concentrate of what potassium phosphate those are just few of the plants. We use about 40 some odd plants to cleanse the body, strengthen the immune system, and electrify the system because you want to electrify the body. That's how simple we cure AIDS. We cure AIDS. We don't treat AIDS. This thing here says that, Moringa said, and they keep repeating it, that they use it but they believe that it's going to cure. They think, oh no, we got to stop talking like that. We kill. That's how we got to start talking. If you don't kill, get out of the way. Because you're lying to people. Next question. The, the brother. Please, some blessings. When I see a client, my thought process, I already knew what the brother needed. Like the Mexican knew what I needed. The Mexican said, you're dying because you have disobeyed without unconsciously you disobeyed. So when a brother comes to me, I already know what the brother needs. I don't need to go into a whole bunch of scientific jargons and intimidating the brother by putting light in his eyes, iridology. I don't do that. I don't do anything. I just give you what I know you need. People come to me for compound from, from Japan. She killed a woman in Japan named Kaoto Kita in Kobe. She never seen a woman. She was in hospice already. With cancer what? The lungs. There you go. Cancer of the lungs in hospice. She never seen a woman. In a month time, she's vacationing in Hawaii. Okay, there you got it. Yes, uh, hard than you, yes, the sister. I have a sister uh, who has, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and I've been keeping my care for two years. I do have her on a fresh food diet, all organic foods, all raw foods, and um, I'm seeing a, a big improvement, but I feel as though she needs some other things. And what else can I do to help her? She, Alzheimer's. She has Alzheimer's, yes sir. Okay, Alzheimer's. That's a brain problem, right? Remember what I said, there's only one disease? Okay. When you have mucus in the nasal passage, it is sinusitis. When you have mucus in the bronchial tubes, it's bronchitis. When you have mucus in the lungs, it's pneumonia. But now if you have mucus where? For you to have Alzheimer's, where is the mucus? So we have to remove the mucus from out of the system, especially the brain, but then we have to feed the brain. That's where biochemistry comes into play. The brain, like if the system was suffering with rickets, that's bone, right? So we have to address calcium. 
If she had leukemia, it would be blood, that's iron. But now she has Alzheimer's. She has mucus in the brain, which prevents the brain from receiving what? Oxygen. Now, what is the brain composed of? Copper and carbon.